First, I just want to say that we absolutely have to have a safety base in college softball. You know, the collision that happened today could have been worse for both sides. Uh, we've had season ending injuries because of the collisions at first base in softball. The bases are 60 feet. The athletes are incredible athletes. They're fast, they're powerful, and there is no reason why we shouldn't have a safety base at first base. International play has it, high schools have it, we should have it. Okay, so make sure that goes on there because I'll retweet the hell out of it. All right, can you talk a little bit about this matchup against Kentucky and what you knew was going to be a challenge? Yeah, I mean, you know, anytime when you get into the, the third game and one team has won two and the other one, you know, hasn't, they are doing everything humanly possible to win a game. I know that. I know their coaching staff, their kids, very competitive, and we knew that. So you just got to match that intensity. And, you know, we had a lead, and then we just didn't make enough good pitches and obviously didn't make enough plays. Um, and then credit them, they scored in almost every inning after that, and we couldn't find a way to stop them. Again, let me say something else. I just want to say thanks to, to the crowds this weekend. You know, this is the second time in our history that we have sold out all three games of an SEC matchup before a pitch was thrown. So thank you to everybody that bought a ticket. Um, it was a win-win for college softball all weekend long. The crowds were terrific. You know, we had media like you here. So it, it was just a great atmosphere for college softball. And I can't thank the fans enough for coming out and watching college softball. And going forward, what would you personally like to see from the team as a whole? And what would you like to remain the same? I think, you know, we have a week ahead where we have a midweek and then we go to South Carolina. So number one, we got to get good starting pitching no matter who we play. So starting Wednesday night at UAB, we need a good start for whoever starts for us, play really good team defense. And then the other thing I think that we could have done better, especially today, was uh, pass the baton down. You know, when somebody gets on with a walk or a hit, we need to continue an inning, you know, and put six, seven, eight, nine kids up to bat in one inning. And today we'd get a walk and then uh, we'd get three straight outs. So we have to find a way to continue innings on offense.